School districts across the state are navigating the real cost of making school buildings safer. Yeah, that's right. This summer, new minimum safety standards for schools went into effect. KXAN's Kelly Wiley has the details. More than a year after a mass shooting took the lives of 19 children and two teachers at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. The ripple effect of new requirements is hitting schools statewide. September 1st, districts will have to place at least one armed officer on every campus. What's the cost associated with getting an armed security officer on every campus right now? Um, it is costly, there's no doubt about it. Um, it is going to um, definitely stretch us as a district financially. Lawmakers originally proposed increasing the student safety allotment by more than $90 per student. But in the end, they only increased the allotment by 28 cents. Were you shocked that they didn't allocate more state dollars? I'd say myself and every educator and probably every law oh, enforcement yeah. officer are all shocked. Dr. Tony Hicks is the superintendent of Gerald ISD a small district 45 minutes north of Austin. So excited our teachers are coming back. The district says this school year it's paying for armed security guards while building its own police department. Dr. Hicks says the district is already outspending the money allocated by the legislature. The safety of our children should not be extra. It should be funded. New data from the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement shows after the mass shooting at Robb Elementary, 15 school districts started participating in the school marshal program. That program trains school employees to protect students from armed intruders. That same data shows more than 50 school districts applied to start their own police departments after that shooting. It costs probably uh, somewhere around $100,000 per officer just to get them, you know, get them equipped, get them trained you know, and put them on, on a campus, uh, about $100,000. So it's cost a lot of money. The state, state really needs to um, help out with those costs. An hour south at Hayes CISD, head of district safety, Jerry Scrocky, says she's also struggling to find the money and personnel for an officer on 15 elementary campuses, currently without a dedicated sheriff's deputy monitoring the campus. We actually had, had funded um, three positions that um, we put on the last school year. Unfortunately, due to staffing shortages, the sheriff's office wasn't even allowed or wasn't allowed, wasn't able to staff two of those positions the entire school year because they were so shorthanded. Other school districts in Hayes County tell us they're vying for more school resource officers from the sheriff's office to comply with the law. Um, I think every one of us who are in the safety and security department will tell you that we're very apprehensive. We're very, um, I don't even know how to put it into words. Um, we're, sh we're struggling because all of us want to do what we are instructed and mandated to do, but we also want to do it right. A gun in the school is not just the solution. It's a properly trained person with a gun in a school. School districts got guidance from TEA on this law 21 days ago. And just to give you an idea of this, take a look at this map. Austin ISD says it needs 70 more officers for its police force. Dripping Springs ISD says it needs at least three additional SROs from the Hayes County Sheriff's Office. Del Valley ISD approved a $1.1 million plan to hire just nine more officers. Eanes ISD told us thankfully it already has the officers it needs to comply by September 1st. Kelly Wiley, KXAN Investigates.